All righty, so we have some exciting news coming out of, I guess, Niagara Falls. Um, we have a lot to cover, um, and there's some random facts on top of stuff about Marineland, and everything definitely adds up uh, to what we've been hearing uh, that's going to happen with Marineland moving forward. So it all makes sense now. And uh, this definitely confirms what we've been hearing from our sources. And we definitely think that Marineland, by a specific date, 2031, will be a completely different park. So um, some of the things we learned uh, today just confirm, again, exactly what we've been hearing. So again, for those of you that have watched our previous videos, we should be looking at a water park, a hotel... Um, and year-round uh, operations at Marineland with Halloween and winter festivities as well. So we'll get right into it. Um, today, uh, or around today, we got sent this document. It's a meeting pertaining to Marineland's development. And uh, basically, they just discussed that Marineland's an important aspect to Niagara Falls, and uh, it's going to need to continue to be an important aspect to Niagara Falls tourism. And uh, basically, they're going to rely on investing into the park. Uh, and in such, they hope to get the park to year-round operations and all-day uh, fun. So again, their goal here in the first paragraph is to have Marineland become an all-day experience and then an all-year-round experience as well. Um, and when that does become that, they'll be ready to change some of the zoning to allow for uh, multi-day uh, facilities, such as a hotel. That's their goal, to build a hotel on site. Um, and we have also learned that uh, they are looking to raise the max height, which is interesting because they have a ride that's around 450 feet in the air. Uh, but they're looking to raise the height uh, from 10 stories currently to around 30 stories in that area. So again, that doesn't just pertain to Marineland, so that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, Marineland is looking to build a 30-story uh, building or 30-story attraction. Just in that general area, they have are looking to raise the height restrictions from 10 stories to 30 stories. Um, we also know uh, that they're gonna be building a people mover system in the Niagara tourism area. Uh, one that connects all the casinos and tourist attractions. So, i.e. it could mean Marineland with the casinos and uh, the actual tourist strip. I don't know why it slipped my mind, the name of it, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Niagara Falls downtown uh, strip where you can go on their rides of the Ferris wheel and all that. Um, but nonetheless, Marineland uh, has started a rapid expansion plan that we're aware of and that we have been told. So as you can see on the screen, there is a new ride coming to Marineland this year, hopefully, fingers crossed, 2021. Um, it is called Star Voyager, and it is a star shape. Um, so definitely an exciting ride and the first of its kind in North America. And we know that this is the beginning of a rapid expansion plan that we have been kind of told a little bit about. And we know that there are lots of attractions coming along with it. So there's another new family uh, flat ride that was installed. It's very similar to one that they already have, but it's a little kitty drop tower. And we know that uh, there are more rides coming in the years to come, whether that be a, a star, um, sorry, a wind seeker or a, a water park expansion or Halloween haunt or a winter fest type event. Um, there are definitely more things coming as they aim to become an all-day experience again. So definitely some really exciting stuff. We know that there is a roller coaster that's going to fit into this expansion plan sometime sooner than later. And we know that Marineland is definitely um, most likely going to be receiving some city funding for this expansion as well. So again, the city is working on transportation. They're working on transportation for themselves as well. So connecting the casinos to the downtown core and other tourist destinations. They're looking at allowing Marineland to build a hotel um, once they become an all-day experience and a multi-day experience. So that's really exciting. So this definitely confirms that Marineland is definitely on the table for the city of Niagara Falls. And it definitely has a really bright future. So a lot of those people that are on Twitter or online, you know, there's one false 
narrative being spun by some crazy dude that, you know, Marineland's going to go out of business, blah, blah, blah. And that's simply not true. Uh, Marineland, no matter how you look at it, is extremely important to the tourism industry of Niagara Falls. It definitely employs a lot of people and it can employ even more um, once they're done with this rapid expansion plan. So Marineland has a very bright future, lots of new attractions um, that are coming this year, and then lots of new attractions coming down the road. So again, Marineland most likely will or should be introducing a fall and winter event sometime soon um, as they do move to become an all-year experience. And they are definitely uh, going to be introducing uh, a hotel if that is successful as well. So the city is ready to approve a hotel. It looks like the hotel could be anywhere from 10 stories um, with 150 rooms is what I think I read on another page. Again, super difficult. There's a ton of pages to go through. So it's going to be anywhere between 10 stories to 30 stories with 150 to 232 rooms, I think it was. So whatever that ends up being, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that. Um, and uh, yeah, everyone that works at Marineland is heading back to work any day now to start getting the park ready for opening. So that's super exciting as well. Um, and thank you to the person um, who sent us this information this evening. Thank you so much. Anyways, thanks so much for watching our videos, guys. We have videos coming out over the next couple days of some of the attractions that we know and think are coming to Marineland, if that makes sense. Um, so stay tuned for that. We're just working on those no limits right now. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching uh, today's video and uh, hopefully you have a great time. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.